Mrs. Howe, Mr. Howe. And here come the very special yeah, guests. Come. We gotta Cheers, get our, have a hand. We gotta, Mrs. Howe. Woo hoo! Party stuff on, Jim. This is very, very special. Here we go. Pick it up. Right in the middle, Mr. Howe. You got mine, bud? Yep. Fine. Here we go. Have a seat right in the middle. Oh, this is oh. an ab <laughs> absolute honor. <laughs> this is an absolute honor to have these two on our show, Jim. Absolute honor. I was mentioning before, Mr. Howe, that the pills Jim takes uh, had effect on his hair, and that's why it's like that. I'll tell you, he looks great. He <laughs> looks great. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about with the hair. Um, so what are your thoughts on the, the season so far? Um, what, about halfway through the season maybe? What do you think so far? Well, right now we're, we're, seven and, we're, we're gonna be seven and seven after the, tonight's win, we hope. And that's a, that's a good record for the girls. They work very hard. And um, I, think they're gonna, I think they're gonna get into the tournament with, this, um, with the way they're playing right now. And this is how you two will be there cheering them on throughout the tournament? Always. They're um, a great team. They are. Can't go wrong there. Now I noticed that as the season progressed, there tends to be a gap between Mr. and Mrs. Howe in the stands, and I want everybody out there thinking their, their personal things going on. Why don't you explain right. that, Mrs. Howe, exactly why you kind of slide away during the game? My husband roots for the girls very loudly, and I try to be quiet. Oh my God! Oh, <laughs> give him a job. Oh my God, George, you see that? Oh my gracious! Oh. That's why. That's why she won't stay with me. Things God like bless that. the man, though. <laughs> what do you think, Bob? Should we tell them why why we have them down here? I think so. I think I think so. I think we can tell them. <clears throat> Ready on three? <clears throat> right. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, happy happy birthday, birthday, dear Mr. and Mrs. Look at yourself. One more time. Happy. Mr. And happy birthday, Hurricane House. Happy birthday to you. We oh. Very, very nice. That's what Mr. Both Howe's is. birthday early in January. Mrs. January Howe right around the corner. January 4th yeah. is mine, and January 31st That's is my wife Sheila's. We want to pop these balloons. What's that? Happy birthday. Give it a bob. Hi, right, bob. Hey, let me tell you guys, you do a, you do a great job for um, for the for the kids. You know, believe me, we, we enjoy you a lot, the both of you, Thank Jimmy you, and Bob. How much do we enjoy you? Well, you've been doing it for how long now? Three years. Three years. Three years, and we hope you continue until whatever. For well, as long as you keep coming to the games. Right. We'll be here next year too. <laughs> Give him a hand once again, Mr. Mitchell. Thank, Thank, Thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> you want your green googly guy? <laughs> oh. Right. New prop. Right. Now what are we doing? Uh, jump shot's awesome. Where is she? I don't know. Beyond me. What, what do you think, brother? Should, should we call her over here? She, she, she went in. Oh, she out? No. I don't see her. I could do a... I could do a magic trick, Bob. Right. I gotta... We, we, once again... Um, go ahead. You know how the pills did up your hair like that, Jimmy? Right. I, I know you still don't believe me, but... I got this from the doctors. It's a revolutionary scientific hat to prevent any side effects from those pills that we're taking. So, uh... That's why my hair is fine and Jim's is it's just like that. Oh, why did my doctor do that? Can, can, I, can I maybe get maybe a close-up on this? Can I possibly, can you zoom in maybe? I'll show you a phenomenal piece of magic. It's an oldie but a goodie. The reason I'm repeating it is because everybody's written into fan mail. 63 Milton Street, Arlington, Mass. Asked me to repeat this illusion. Um, I'm doing this for you, the fans of Somerville. And any second now, Jump Shot Jocelyn will be here. Uh, don't go anywhere. This is by request only. What you want to do is watch the center of the bill there. This is Bob's $10 bill. Bob, I forgot to tell you, borrow $10 from your wallet. Just don't ruin it, Jim, please. Stick that right through the center, like so. All right, that's the easy part. See, right through the center. So far, uh, no problem. Because you, you don't mind if there's a hole in your bill, Bob. Oh, would, would you mind if I did this, Bob? Oh, kid. 
A little bit of Highland oh. of magic, right back together in one incredible piece. Get that. That's right, Bob. He must have twisted the bills or something, Jim. No, actually, I'll give you a hint on how I did it. Bob. That's preposterous. I know it is. Like, let me give you a hint. I've never seen anything that ludicrous before in my life. I don't want you going home, Bob, and uh, trying to do this with Nunny's money. If you go into uh, Nunny's wallet and like, you know, borrow ten bucks like Don did a number of years ago, uh, you know, when Ella still owes us some money. I don't want you rip ripping your money. The secret is the pencil has to melt through the bill. And if the pencil melts through the bill, then you have nothing to worry about. You wow, got that, Bob? That's phenomenal. Right. Unbelievable. There you go. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> can you, I, can you got anything else for us? Oh, I, got, I got plenty for you, Bob. Just about over a minute left. Actually, is this, is this your $1 bill, too? If you want, I can change this into a 10 as well. I, I can turn watch, this to a watch 10. Watch George's we'll just, uh, camera angle. Just, uh, just, just a one. I can make this to another 10 for you. I want to zoom in. Sleeves are back, that's important to note. <laughs> Although, this is new, Bob, so you know, it might, might not work. You know, right. I, I'm not supposed to be doing it uh, until I have it perfected, but for, forgive me if it doesn't work, you know. What, what can I do? And there you have it, a crisp, clean 10. Wow. Oh, some, some sort of a uh, miscut. Uh, Wait a minute, see if I can fix this for you. Fix that, Jim. Some, some sort of miscut bill. Again, we're waiting for jump shot Jocelyn. Can I, can I, hello? Good enough, one dollar bill, it. I'll well, take it. Okay. Believe oh. it or not, sports fans, uh, Dave did ruin jump shots, Jocelyn's uh, chance to be in the spotlight. The spider's not too happy about it, you can see he's aggravated. But uh, what are you gonna do? Maybe, maybe we'll get a next game, Jim. About 30 seconds.